inverse of a function inverse of a function if f maps a to b is a bijection is a bijection then a function f inverse b comma a such that a comma b belongs to f is called inverse function of f it is denoted by f inverse maps b to a if f is a bijection then f is said to be inversible function then f is a bijection then f inverse exists so f is a bijection that implies f inverse exists Suppose this A, this is B, say element A and element B, then this F is bijection function from A to B, then B to A is F inverse. we know that f of a is equal to b if and only if here f inverse b is equal to a composite function composite function let f maps a to b g maps b to c are two functions then then a function a function defined from defined from a to c is called is called composite function or product of two functions two functions f and g now consider suppose this a set a this is set b this is set c now from a to b f function from b to c g function then 
this is known as function composite function from a to c this is denoted by g circle f g circle f a to c now let us say this a belongs to a b belongs to b next c belongs to c we know that b is the image of a under f so this b can be written as f of a now c is the image of b under g this we can write g of c so now consider g circle f of a so g circle f of a means we can write g circle f of a is equal to g of f of a where f of a is equal to b so that is g of b because since f of a is equal to b and from this figure g of b is equal to g of b is equal to c or this we can write g of b so g of b is equal to c therefore if g circle f a to c is a composite function from a to c then g circle f of a equal to c for every a belongs to a that means this g circle f and f have the same domain g circle f and f are defined on same domain a now here after we can remember g circle f of x means g of f of x similarly f circle g of x means we can remember f of g of x 